And Major League Baseball, let's go ahead and react to the MLB trade deadline. Before we get into the content, folks, we're doing a giveaway. We are so close, folks. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're we'll going to be giving the first $500 that we earn in AdSense revenue back to our subscribers. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Hit that notification bell. Hit it. So you don't miss out on that giveaway. And also smash that like button for your boy, AJ, right over there. Boom, I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and talk about our Major League Baseball trade deadline reactions, shall we? Yeah, absolutely. What do you got? Let's start there. Well, I mean, I mean, I want to talk about my Braves moves. All right, let's hear it. You know what I mean? So let's hear it. Um, the Braves obviously add Jorge Soler from the Giants and right-handed pitcher Luke Jackson. And they trade Tyler Madzik and third baseman Sabin Sabalos. He's the number 26 prospect. The, the Braves have really been battling injuries. I mean, if you're a, any kind of a Braves fan, obviously it's been a rough season. Um, so, you know, we needed some help in the outfield. Jorge Soler is somewhat of a Braves legend, obviously in that 21 championship. He ends up winning the World Series MVP with his performance. And then, I mean, then they also had Luke Jackson in that same series. So they brought back, maybe they're trying to recreate some magic. Um, they're currently, you know, they're they're in the number one for the NL wild card. So the Braves got to do something. They had to make some moves. Was this enough? I don't think so. Um, yeah. They they needed a little bit more than this, but you're just kind of hoping that the Braves ended up getting healthy and, and can kind of keep pushing to make some wins. If you were to give them a grade, what would you give them? I okay. mean, the, the couple guys they did pick up will help this team win some more ball games. Maybe a B, my, I don't, maybe a C. I don't know. Yeah. The, the the thing was is I don't know if they did enough to really move the needle. Yeah, my only maybe objection so. to, to that is I'd give them a C minus, and the only reason why I give them that low a grade is you had one job on this trade deadline, which was build a team that can beat the Phillies. Yes. And I don't think you did that. And and I don't think you did enough to beat the Phillies. Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of my only downgrade there. Let me give you a, a let me talk about a team that got an A grade for me. Okay. Uh, that'd be the Blue Jays. Oh, the Blue Jays. Okay. Yeah, the Blue Jays. They trade away uh, right-handed pitcher Yemi Garcia to Seattle. They trade away catcher Denny Jansen to Boston. Outfielder Kevin Kiermeyer to the Dodgers. Left-handed pitcher Yusei Kikuchi to Houston. Infielder Isaiah Kainaforlefa to Pittsburgh. Right-handed pitcher Nate Pearson to Chicago Cubs. Right-handed pitcher Trevor Richards to Minnesota. And DH to my boy Red Turn to Justin Turner to Seattle. Uh, so that's a whole lot of talent that they traded away. Why am I saying they're giving them an A? Because they brought in a lot of good guys too. They brought in a ton of prospects. Jake Bloss, the Astros number two prospect. Um, yeah. The Mariners, number 13 prospect. The Cubs, number 17 prospect. The Red Sox, number 18 prospect. Yeah, so let's go back to that Houston one for Yusei, yeah. Yusei Kikuchi. What prospect did they give up for him again? Jake Bloss. Yeah, what was his ranking? Number two. Exactly. They traded two of them. Right. So they traded their number two overall prospect. They traded their some of their top two overall prospects for a rental of Yusei Kikuchi. He, Absolutely. You, get, you have him for half a season. He's not exactly, I mean, he's a good pitcher, but he's not a great pitcher. And for some top prospects, it's you like, do not they're just away. like, yeah, no, we're not going to get, we're going to get something for him right now. They totally reloaded their whole team without giving away any of their, I mean, they still have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. They still have Bo Bichette. They still have Springer in the center field. All their top talent is still with the team. Yeah. They didn't give away any of their top talent or any of their prospects, yet they reloaded on a whole bunch of prospects for rebuilding the team. Yeah. I think that to me, that gives them an A. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, the Orioles. Uh, they got uh, Zach Eflin from the race for a handful of prospects. Uh, none of them were their top 10 prospects. Uh, so that's good for them. Uh, so they now have Corbin Burns, Grayson Rodriguez. And that's a good three starting rotation for when you're in the playoffs. You only need really three good starters in the playoffs Yeah, to rotate between them. Give yeah, them I mean, and the rest. Orioles also added Patrick Riley, the Pirates number eight prospect. You know, I think they did a great job. Um, Zach Eflin is exactly adding exactly what you need. The Royals are stacked when it comes to hitting talent. They just were a little light on the pitching, which is why they went out and got pitchers. You know, yeah. Which is why they went out and got Corbin birds in the off season. Yeah. And you know, now you just trade for Zach Eflin, which I think was an underrated pitcher in this trade deadline. But uh, yeah, good job on them, man. Um, the Cubs ended up getting the best bat uh, the available at the trade deadline, which was a Paredes. Uh, he wasn't all-star this year. I think they gave up way too much for him. So I don't know what that move was there. But hey, good on them, man. They did a lot with a little. They're not going to catch Milwaukee. I don't think they're going to catch Milwaukee for the division. Yeah, I mean, they're currently 11 games back, which is really tough. I mean, they're at 51 and 
51 and 47. I don't know if they did enough to keep pushing and to get that wild card spot. So they're 11 and a half out of the wild card. Or they're the 11 division? games back from the leader. And right now they're six and a half games back of uh wild card. So they I got a lot of work to do. They added a bat and they traded away some decent prospects in order to get it. So I, yeah. I don't think that was the right move for them to do. Love uh, it. Um, so the Dodgers went ahead and added uh, the best pitcher available at the trade deadline, Jack Flaherty, right? Yep. Uh, so he is a rental as well. Flaherty's having his best season, you know, since he finished fourth in Cy Young voting in 2019. Like this dude's playing. Yeah, he's got a 2.95 yeah. ERA with 133 strikeouts. What the Dodgers are really missing right now is is that strikeout type pitcher right now. You got it in glass now, but he's even dipped the last couple starts. You really need that uh, strikeout capability that he has. Did you see that the, the Yankees passed on the Flaherty trade? Well, and they were worried about some injury concerns. I guess he had some some back pain oh, yeah. and stuff that he took some injections for like a month or so ago, and they were just like, nope, we're going to pass. Uh, like we mentioned on our previous episode, if they traded for him, they would just scale down his number of pitches that he's throwing. Like just yeah, exactly. Cut them down and get him in a better training regimen. And I think he's going to be just fine. Uh, and again, he's a rental. Uh, they didn't give up uh, any two two good prospects for him. I think one of them was Sweeney, which was a shortstop uh, middle infielder prospect they got from uh, the Yankees in the first game. Well, they did give up Theron Lorenzo, the number three prospect. Yes, but he's blocked at the major league level. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's a catcher. Oh, okay. And yeah. you, got, you got Will Smith, who just signed a 10-year contract. You know, and then you also have Diego yeah. Cartaya down there, right. who's going to be our next top prospect. You know, that's going to be our next best catcher. Right. He just doesn't have any path to make so it to the major leagues. He's yeah. kind of unless you can have him if he plays third, then maybe. But he's he's blocked at the major league level. So yeah, he did. He is a top prospect in the, in the system. Yes, but like you said, there's just not a path. There's no path to the major league. Yeah. At all. Oh, uh, I thought was really crazy about this uh, when it comes to the major league baseball trade deadline is there wasn't a single player at the deadline. And the top 100 prospects were traded this year. That's kind of crazy, actually. That tells you how much these teams are valuing their prospects right now. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you folks. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, did you did your team make a trade this year that we didn't talk about? Let us know what you think. Yeah, leave um, us a comment. Let us know if you like it, who they traded. I don't know. I'm kind of a fan of the Mariners and what they did, man. Yeah. To add Randy Rosarena and Justin Turner. They knew they had to go get some bats, right? The Mariners are tied for first place. Yeah. I mean, they're looking to make a run. And the only issue they've had this whole season has just been their offense. Yeah. Their pitching's been great the whole year. Their defense has been great the whole year. <laughs> they just can't get any run support for any of these pitchers. Yeah. They also uh, added to the bullpen. They added Yumi Garcia. Yeah. Which I think was a good move. They're they're kind of pushing the chips in the middle. Like, we're going to just take one big swing of this thing and see how she goes. Yeah. Well, they were in first place to the last day of the season when Houston ended up. Right. Playing. Let's uh, let's hope that that doesn't happen this time. Well, once again, folks, we'd like to appreciate. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of the D-Day Sports Recap. As a reminder, folks, we are on the grind to 1,000 subscribers. We are so close, folks. Less than 10 away. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving the first $500 that we earn in AdSense revenue back to our subscribers. So if you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't give it, miss out on that giveaway. And as always, smash that like button for your boy, AJ, right over there. I need it. I need it. Just so you guys know, this is available as a podcast wherever you get your audio. Make sure you guys tune in. Give us a rate and a review. We really appreciate it. With all that said, my name is Darren, that is AJ, and this has been the DNA Sports Recap. Till next time.